Hey everyone, today we're gonna talk about the animation movie Monkey King Reborn. In the starting of the movie, we see Wajing and Piggy. Wajing tells Piggy that when the universe was created, energy used to flow in the form of light, and the energy that sunk below, which is the creation of Earth. At that time, a demon named Yandi took birth, and he was very powerful. Wherever he went, every living thing turned into demon. That's why he decided to march all the three world so that he could be the ruler of the heaven. Buddhist come to stop him, but he failed. Even the heaven soldier could not stop him. Then a disciple of Buddha chose a great sacrifice to stop him, where this disciple used his soul to bury the demon inside the earth. But the land where he was buried turned into black and cold. According to this book, Yandi could transform everyone into demon. When Piggy listens this story, he says, "You tell me this story every time, just after changing the names." Then he snatches these books and they both start fighting. Then we see a calm Buddhist master who was waiting for his disciple son Okong. Then there arrive Piggy and Ojing who are still fighting. Actually, Piggy and Ojing were also disciple of that master. Then we see the main character of this film, son Okong. who makes a grand entry while traveling through the mountain with the speed of light and then gives his master some water to drink actually he went there first to get some water when piggy and wajing get to know that okong travel a long distance just to get some water they get completely shocked next day they visit a wajing temple when they arrived at the temple two young people received them who took them inside the temple and this temple was huge piggy and son okong could be seen doing some mischief there without any permission of their master they play with the things then we see their master who shows respect to the holy lake in front of there then we see piggy who says son okong if they could help out then they would give a treasure which will be in the form of a fruit when the keepers of the temple reach the holy tree to get the fruit then piggy and son okong follow them disguising as caterpillars when they reach near the holy tree they were surprised seeing it because the holy tree was extremely beautiful and its fruits were unique when the keepers slept then piggy and son okong reached near the tree decided to eat the fruit when okong gets one fruit one of them falls on the ground piggy tried to take this it disappeared Then Sun Wukong understand this is an elusive place. He pulls out its keeper from the ground, asks him about that fruit. Then the keeper tells Wukong that fruit's name Sapodella, which is also called an Gixan. It takes ten thousand years for a holy tree to be prepared, and it's only give thirty fruits. After eating one fruit, he would stop aging for forty-seven thousand years. Then Wukong picks three fruits and starts eating with his friend. But when the keepers get to know about this situation, the fruit is stolen. Just to confirm this, they start counting. They found that four fruit are stolen. When the keepers ask them about this, Okong says that he had only one fruit, and this is nothing to be surprised. Then there arrives Okong master and asks him about the situation. Then the keeper reveals that the monkey is stolen four fruit of the Gixan. Then Okong agreed and says that he only took three. This led to be an argument, and they start fighting. Suddenly, the keeper told Okong that he is useless and a demon. This gets him angry, so he destroyed all the tree, and he uprooted the whole tree with the help of his stick. Then there arrives the master of this temple, Genwan, the Earth God, came with his disciple. Then the keepers reveals that three foot of the Gibson are stolen, and Okong destroyed the holy tree. Then Genwan asks his disciple to make a demon protecting shield on the surface of the holy tree because that Yandi would not able to get free. When Golden Shakara asks him to forgiveness after seeing Genwan God, then Genwan God says to him that they are all treated with respect, but your three disciple treat them very badly. So he is trapping this three disciple. Here we see the shield breaks and the Yandi gets free from the roots of the holy tree. and he takes master sakara with him here okong tried his best to free but he failed then genwan tells okong that it took lots of effort to trap yandi but you set him free by uprooting the holy tree now he will try to merge all the three worlds which will lead to the destruction of the earth then okong says you are the ancestor of the god then why you are afraiding of him i can save my master if you set me free and i can also trap yandi 
On this, Gen 1 says that if you would not able to trap Yandi, then I will trap you under the mountain forever. Okong accept this challenge. Then this three disciple left this place. Then Gen 1 sent his disciple to the god of heaven, Jit, to inform him about this situation. Now we see Yandi wherever he passes, every living organism are possessed by his demonic power. Yandi hides himself and the master in the mountain. Here we see lots of demons. All the demons thought Yandi would be a sea creature, but their later tells that it is not a sea creature, but the ancestor of all demons, Yandi. Just knowing this, all the demons pays him with respect. Yandi tells them that he was trapped under the land 10,000 years. Because of that, his body shape changed. Then he ordered them to take care of Golden Sakara until he gets his body back. And he informed all the demons that he will merge all the three worlds just after three days. And no one could stop him. Then we see Wokong and his two friends who were in search of Yandi. Then a small creature appeared from Ojang basket. It says that he is the holy soul who trapped Yandi many years ago. But Wokong don't believe in him. So he sent him away. Then he pulls out the god of land and asks him about the location of Yandi. He says Yandi hiding in the mountain. So all of them reach to the mountain in search of him. Yandi somehow get to know about that someone is searching him. So Yandi sent his demon soldier to kill the holy soul. And we see that the holy soul was in the village with Okog and his friend. Here we see all the villagers are run away in fear after seeing Okong. Then there arrives the demon soldier of Yandi. Okong hides this pure soul and starts fighting to see all the villagers were being passed by those demons. Then some demons went in search of that pure soul. Just when the demons were about to catch him, Okong come and start fighting with them. Then we could see that pure soul who was sad watching the villagers in trouble. Then he cured all the people who were possessed with his power. Then we see those demons who were explaining Yandi that they were about to catch the soul but there arrived monkey and he saved him. Hearing this, Yandi get frustrated. Then he sent his another demonic soul to kill that pure soul. Another side we see Okong and his friend who get in the temple of the mountain just to get the location of Yandi. But the god was not present there. So Okong sent Piggy and Ojang to find the god. Then the demonic soul come into that temple and hides itself of that temple god. When the demonic soul was about to kill the pure soul, then Okong again saves it and a fight starts between them. His friend also arrived who had helped him to fight the demonic soul. When Okong strike the head with his stick, the demonic soul left his body and the god of mountain came back to sense. Now Okong asks him about the location of Yandi. Then the god pointed towards the mountain named Melianam and says Yandi is there. Then we see Melianam mountain where all the domains are celebrating the freedom of Yandi. Then we get to see Yandi in his original form. Here in the middle of the way, that pure soul asks Okong who named him Okong, and he replies his mother. But it is not important who gave him name, it is more important to know about him. Then the pure soul replied, Do you know yourself? Okong says that he know everything about himself. He says he is a demon who was created by a magic stone. Then the pure soul said that they are all bad demons, but you have a heart, so you are a good demon. Then the pure soul feels asleep. When the soul feels asleep, Okong surrounded it with a shield and make his away to the Malayalam mountain with his friend. Okong did not want that the pure soul come with him because he was in the form of a kid. Then Okong, Piggy and Ojang arrived at the Malayalam mountain where a lot of demons seen. Then all start fighting. When Piggy started to fight, everyone thought him to be a powerless. Then Piggy turned into a giant and snatched all the demons under his feet. Another side, Okong killed the demon mercilessly with his stick. And we see he makes an army of monkey king with the help of his hair, who helped them to fight all the demons. Then there come Yandi and asks Okong to give him that pure soul. But Okong moves forward to kill him. A fight started with them. When Okong friend arrived, who helped Okong to fight Yandi. But Yandi alone was dominating them to all. He beats them mercilessly. Then Yandi saw the pure soul and he moved forward him. But Okong tried his best to stop him. But this time Yandi beats him really hard. When Okong friend is there to help him, Yandi killed both of them. 
when he reached there to kill that pure soul, he was unable to do because of a protective shield around him. So he used his power to destroy that shield from inside. But this time Okong came back and tried to protect that soul. Then that soul was shot seeing Okong taking his last breath. Then Yandi bring his master and kill him in front of his eyes. Then we see that the pure soul give his spirit to Okong but he denies to take it. Because if he do this, that pure soul will die. When Yandi was about to kill Okong, that pure soul tried to stop Yandi. But Yandi kills that pure soul. Just because of this, his soul's power get into Okong's body and he came back to his life. Yandi start to merge all the three worlds. Then Okong arrives to stop him and attack him with his stick. Then we see a deadly fight between them, where Okong attack him with his stick, but at the end, on his head so hard, Yandi dies on his spot. Just after Yandi death, all the dark cloud disappeared and Okong friend also back to life. They were crying after losing his master. Then we could hear a sound. When they looks back, he sees his master golden Sakara. After seeing him, everyone become really happy. Then we see goddess of mercy who plants the seed of the holy tree in the same spot. Then the holy plants grows again and here the story ends. If you like this movie story and my explanation, please like this video and share on your Facebook and WhatsApp. Subscribe and press the bell icon. Thank you.